What's cracking YouTube, Neck Punch here, and it's time for our fake mod of the day and our 50 days of fake mod. Now, about a year ago, I introduced you guys to this Pokemon, Spinolith. Now, I have a sprite for Spinolith, and it looks like this. And as you can see, the sprite needs a little bit of work. I designed the sprite years and years and years ago, and I never quite felt like I captured exactly how I wanted it to look. So I had a lot of fun tweaking the design and really playing with it when I went to draw the kind of official style artwork for the video last year. And uh, I'm really, really happy with how Spinalith ended up coming out. So I'm going to go back and redesign the sprite. However, today's video is not about Spinalith. So in the video where I introduced Spinalith, I talked about a certain Pokemon. And I said that if you take this certain Pokemon to something called the Emitting Rock, which is a rock that radiates bursts of light, if you expose that Pokemon to the Emitting Rock, it takes on the light typing and evolves into Spinalith. What I didn't say is what that first Pokemon was. And so today, I'm going to introduce you to Therasile. Therasile is actually a rock ground type, and it's just based on a generic theropod dinosaur. Not any carnivore in particular, just the general concept. Uh, when you take Therasile to the emitting rock, it loses its ground typing, takes on the light typing, and becomes the rock light Spinalith. However, there is another rock, the absorbing rock. And just like the emitting rock radiates light, the absorbing rock absorbs it. So if you take Therasile to the absorbing rock, its light is kind of sucked out of it and it loses its rock typing, becoming the dark ground Skeletrex. Now I know we already have a T-Rex Pokemon, but let's be honest, we all had the idea for a T-Rex Pokemon way before Tyrantrum. I think every kid who ever played Pokemon before Gen 6 was like, Oh, imagine a T-Rex Pokemon, wouldn't that be cool? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. So obviously I had this idea years and years and years ago. I designed the sprite in 2011, and yes, later on we did get Tyrantrum, and I love Tyrantrum, but uh, I also love Skeletrex. I love this design, I love the bones and the, the, the big uh, skeletal jaws. Uh, I love the dark typing for a T-Rex because I love the idea of Stab Crunch. I think that is very, very T-Rex. So I'm absolutely keeping Skeletrex in my game. And uh, I'll let you guys decide which, uh, which T-Rex do you think is king. I think that there's room for two T-Rex Pokemon. Uh, I really, really do. Uh, and I'd love to see the two of them fight. Now, Skeletrex is obviously Spinalith's counterpart in a lot of ways. So just like Spinalith has the Drought ability, Skeletrex's ability is Pitch Black, the, uh, the summoning ability for extreme darkness, which we've talked about before because it's also the hidden ability of Curtain Nine Tails. Anyway, that wraps it up for this video. We've got Therasile and Skeletrex. Uh, that now completes the evolutionary family around Spinalith. I will see you guys tomorrow with a brand new fake mod. So until next time, my name is Neck Punch. Have a good one.